Hi guys, it's John here, and this is an Android One UI 6.1 update benchmark comparison between the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Exynos 2200, and Snapdragon HM1, the S23 Ultra with the HM2, S24 Ultra with the HM3, and the S24 Plus with the Exynos 2400. So as you can see, these are now all finally running Android One UI 6.1 across the board, and they're all on the May update. So let's run through our normal benchmark tests and see how they do. We'll start off with Geekbench as always, move on to Android 3 Mark, and then do a browser benchmark to end. I'm going to be measuring the temperature with the gun here as well today, just to give a bit of an idea as to how hot these are on the surface. As you can see, currently the Exynos 2200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 are the hottest currently. They are charged up to 100% and we do have the floating temperature system widget here so you can follow it along during the tests. Okay, so then we have the results of the CPU test and we can see that the S24 Ultra has one with a single core, although it has seen a pretty big decrease from last month's scores. And the S24 Plus is now taking over the multi-core on average, which is quite interesting to see. We can see a very nice increase here on the S23 Ultra, however, of nearly 10%, both on CPU, single and multi-core. Over the three tests, we can see also that the S23 Ultra was staying the coolest of the bunch, which it is still currently, with the S24 Ultra and the S22 Exynos 2200 were getting the warmest, followed by the S24 Plus. So let's move on to the GPU tests and we'll compare them to last month's score and see how they do. Okay, so a very comfortable victory there for the S24 Plus as always with its GPU, it does score better in these benchmarks, but we do see a big decrease here on the S24 Ultra this month, about 10%, about 5% on the S24 Plus. Really good score here from the 2200 as well, with 8,500, with the S22 Ultra with the HN1 coming in last place. Let's move on to the Geekbench AI test now, and we'll see how they do there. Okay, so the Geekbench has finished and we can see here the S24 Ultra has won the CPU, S24 Plus GPU and the S23 Ultra, the NN API test. So interesting, it has mixed up a bit since last month, but no major increases across the board. So let's move on to the Antutu benchmark test and we'll see how they all compare here. Okay, we can see not really much change here in the Antutu results. The S24 Ultra is still winning quite comfortably, but the S24 Plus not far behind whatsoever, just over 40,000 points behind. S23 is still doing very respectable, as are the two S22s as well. So I'll give these a few minutes to cool down and then we'll move on to the 15 minute stress test. Okay, so the stress test just finished and some pretty disappointing results here this month, especially from the S23 Ultra, can see we have gone down cores being clocked down to the two gigahertz mark here which we weren't seeing in the previous few months so it's taken a leaf from the s24 ultra here which is performing incredibly poor here clocking down after just two nearly three minutes worth of performance here and you can see that performance dropping down to about 55 percent throughout the whole of the test almost the exos 2200 is doing okay it's always been pretty low compared to the hn1 here which is doing its sort of usual self of around 70% performance. But overall, I'd say the S23 Ultra is the better performer here, followed very closely by the S24 Plus here, which performed better for longer, even though it did clock down after about six and a half minutes or so. Okay, so we're about halfway through the test. I'm just downloading this latest one here from 3 Map. Let's just go over the batteries here. We've got 63%, 67, 72, 73, and 70. So the three newer phones are obviously doing much better than the older phones the oldest phones here, but it is interesting to see that the S23 Ultra is only 1% behind the S24 Ultra when it comes to its battery. S24 Plus as well, only 3% behind the S24 Ultra with its smaller 
battery as well. So interesting there. Okay, so on to the 3D Mark test now, and we're going to move on to the new test that they've got here, which is the Steel Nomad Light Stress Test. And this is going to be testing over 20 minutes as if your phone is playing games. Let's start this off and see how they do in this new test. Okay, so the Steel Nomad Light stress test is finished and we can see the results are very interesting indeed. The Exos 2200 has beaten the 8 Gen 1 here quite comfortably and the Exos 2400 has beaten both the S24 Ultra and S23 Ultra, which is not something I thought I'd be saying. Now it is slightly less stable, 64 versus 79%. But look at the S24 Ultra here, just 49% stability and worse off with its lowest loop by quite a long way. But yeah, look at the S24 Plus there really quite amazing results. Right, we'll just finish off with Jetstream 2 and see how they do there and then wrap up the test. Okay, so there we are, Jetstream 2 is finished and these were results here from the S22s, but you can see here the S23 onwards is just so much better. Interestingly, the S24 Plus is only one point behind the S24 Ultra, which is then one point behind the S23 Ultra. So overall still, the S23 Ultra is better at web browsing. So we finished the test here on 50%, 52, 57, 62, and 55. We're pretty good going here, considering these phones are a good couple of years old now. They're still holding up quite well, but the overall battery winner is the S24 Ultra. And out of all of the tests today, the S24 Plus is actually the overall winner this month with three tests out of the bunch, followed closely by the S24 Ultra with two wins and the S23 Ultra with one win. So that really does go to show how well the S24 Plus has been improved over the last few months. So I am going to be doing another battery drain test, a proper one from 100 to 0%, and also another camera test with this new One UI 6.1 update. So be sure to like this video and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when those videos come out.